what if there was a zombie apocalypse and there was no way that you and your friends were going to save the world? Would they still write novels about you? Hi crew! Today we are looking at the book The Last of Us Did Olivia by Patrick Ness. It took me a good long while to figure out what the heck was going on in this book. But once I did, I couldn't stop smiling. <laughs> Ness starts each chapter with an epigraph. Just two or three sentences about what the heroes of the community are doing during the middle of a zombie apocalypse. But that's not the focus of Ness's story. Rather, the zombie attacks, the kidnapped heroes, the spiky romances are what's going on in the background. Ness's focus on Mikey and his mate who are literally just trying to survive until high school graduation. Every once in a while, Mikey will cross paths with the heroes, or as they are known in this world, the Indies, who seem to be a cross between all the characters in Harry Potter, Twilight, Hunger Games, and John Green Book. If you can fathom what that triumphant combination would be like. Mikey will be trying to chat up a girl he has a crush on. And suddenly, a group of Indies will come plowing through the school cafeteria, being chased by a werewolf, only to leave Mikey in the dust having to start up the awkward conversation exactly where it left off, like nothing ever happened. Mikey wants to make sure that we as the readers know that he and his friends aren't special. They aren't the chosen ones. They aren't going to save the day. At one point, he tells us, not everyone has to be the chosen one. Not everyone has to be the guy who saved the world. Most people just have to live their lives the best they can, doing things that are great for them, having great friends, trying to make their lives better, loving people properly, all the while knowing that the world makes no sense, but trying to find a way to be happy anyway. In a world where we highlight the heroes, it's really easy to dismiss Mikey and his friends as almost second rate. We are pulled to hear more about the over-dramatization of the indie kids, what their battles are, and what weird and wonderful creatures they are facing. But why do we have this pull? Mikey's coming of age story is no less dramatic or important than those fighting the zombies. He has giants of his own to face. And just because he's not saving the world doesn't mean that his giants aren't scary or important. Patrick Ness puts before us the question of why one person's coming of age joy is any more or less important than anyone else's. His answer is very much like what we discussed from Lala's story a few days ago. Everyone has a story that's worth a novel. The challenge is, in order to love other people well, to learn each other's stories and the weight they thrust on those that bear the struggles, and then figure out how to help one another rise to the challenge 
that is set before them. What do you think? Why do we live in a world where those who battle aliens and vampires get the spotlight? How does that affect young adult markets? And what can be done to change it? If it needs changing, drop me a line in comments. Lit Cafe is created by Aegis Productions, edited by Liliana Constantine, and filmed in the UK's very own Artworks Elephant in South London. I'm Athena Stevens. Feel free to follow me on Twitter to keep up with our other work. Remember, it's a brave new world out there every day. We'll see you next time at Lit Cafe.